Last year, Lily Durante was finishing up her preschool years and getting ready to move into Sunrise Elementary School for kindergarten. Lily lived the average life of a graduating preschooler until the winter months rolled around. One morning in December changed Lily's life, and in turn, the lives of countless other children at UPMC Children's Hospital. She actually woke up cross-eyed one morning in December of 2018. Um, so we had obviously had a lot of doctor's appointments, she had some MRIs, and then that's when we found out that she had the optic glioma. Optic glioma is a condition that affects the way the optic nerve functions due to tumors or cancerous growths. Without treating this condition, it could cause blindness. To treat her optic glioma, Lily started receiving chemotherapy from UPMC Children's Hospital. Snap it on. Good job. The support here at Children's and the support from our family and friends was so good that it really helped. Although her parents were fearful of the difficult times Lily was going to be facing while receiving chemotherapy, she handled her treatments royally by adding a princess touch to her visits to Children's Hospital. She wore a princess dress to one of her very, very first appointments before chemotherapy even started. She loved the attention that she received and it really made her happier and brightened everybody else's days. Now she loves to pick them out every night. I always do my makeup nice for appointments. Because Lily is still in kindergarten, she has had to learn to balance school and her treatments. The principal of her elementary school has helped her make that transition. Lily's mother, Courtney, Mrs. Durante, she actually was a huge advocate for making sure that we were aware of her condition. She made sure that we knew exactly what she was diagnosed with, how often she would be visiting the hospital, and her biggest concern was her absences. She wanted to make sure that everything would be okay with Lily being out of school so frequently. Here at Sunrise Elementary, where Lily attends kindergarten, the students, staff, and even members of the community have been inspired by Lily's story. They have conducted a toy drive to benefit Children's Hospital. The toy drive is an opportunity for all of our school kids, the families in our community, to donate toys, crafts, markers, colored pencils, games, stuffed animals, anything that you can think of that goes into the treasure chest. Anytime a child has an appointment or a treatment, they are permitted to visit the treasure chest. They open it up and they pull out something that interests them and they get to take it. After collecting the toys, some students and staff from Sunrise brought the toys gathered to the hospital, where UPMC staff helped unload the donations. Amy Raymond, a coordinator from Children's Hospital that works with community partners, has an interesting take on the relationship between donations to the hospital and their use. So I like to think about philanthropy and generous donations like this as the bridge between what has to happen here at the hospital and what gets to happen. We have to have treatments, we have to have IVs and surgeries, but we get to have an environment that is colorful and bright and creative and helps them keep their mind off of what they're going through. All right, ready? You're gonna have to jump. One, two, three, yeah! Ultimately, Lily's strength throughout her treatments is bringing the community together, as well as leaving a lasting impact upon her school. I think Lily inspires us by her unwavering happiness, her ability to show strength through something that is scary at times and also uncertain. And on top of that, she has grown this whole community, the school, the district, the neighborhood, into something where we are all coming together to show kindness, not just for her, but for the benefit of all the children that are going to visit Children's Hospital. And I think it's been amazing to see the outpouring of kindness. We are definitely overwhelmed by the support that we've received from the community. It's definitely one of Lily's favorite things to do is to go choose a prize from the treasure chest. So we're so excited about this toy drive and thankful that the community really rallied together for it. Thank you to everyone involved with the toy drive inspired by Lily. This has been Madison Plines reporting for PTTV.